Hello, let's see how the data snap connection between RAD PHP and XE and Delphi uh, XE works. Uh, for this sample, the very first thing we are going to do is to create a, a data snap server uh, using Delphi XE. For this, uh, we can use the wizard that uh, does all the, the hard work. Let's create a standalone. Uh, VCL application. We are going to use the 81 port. Let's check. It's free. We are not going to use uh, authentication for uh, for this sample. We will see that on on another post. Next, uh, this is where we choose how uh, where all the methods we are going to to publish are going to be stored. In this case, we are going to use a T component, and this is where the project is going to to be okay this is the main form of uh, the server uh, and this is uh, the the class that contains the methods we are pu uh, publishing uh, through data snap in this case two, me two methods echo string and reverse string and this is the uh, data module that contains all the components uh, required for the data snap connection okay a web dispatcher, this is the server, this is the implementation of the server class, these are the functions. So let's save everything and run to start the, the server. Okay, this is the port and when we start we get a, a security warning of the firewall so give access to it. Okay. So now the second step is to uh, generate the client. Uh, we are going to, to write a simple uh, RAD PHP application that calls the, those methods. So the very first thing is to create a new RPCL application. Save it somewhere. Uh, for example, let's snap those. Okay. Here. Yeah. And now we are going to use the wizard also, so we are going to connect uh, to the data snap server and generate all the client code required for the, the interaction. We can choose PHP, JavaScript, uh, the JavaScript side uh, will be seen on a later post. And we can uh, select to generate pure PHP code, that means that no RPCL is going to be used, but for this sample we are going to use it. Uh, this is the host of the data snap server and this is the port uh, for the rest connection okay and this generates two uh, files on our project this is the the rest connection containing all the the parameters for the connection and publishes a uh, property of t server methods one this is the implementation that has been generated by the wizard here it is this is the class and these are the two methods echo string and reverse string so now we can uh, call uh, those methods from PHP uh, for the sample let's place a button an edit box and now in this module you see we need to include the client module 1 uh, unit 1 for this use unit okay this is the required ones and now we are going to use this so we can access okay when the button is clicked we use this and we access the the object that uh, contains the methods we want to, to call and then select the reverse string and we are going to pass the edit one text property and we are going to echo the result of that operation to the output okay now let's run to check how it works okay this is a test button one and get we get the reverse string here another test ok 
okay so as you can see it's very easy to connect both and uh, to execute methods and that are stored on the uh, data snap server for example this is the implementation this is just a call to reverse testing okay hope you like it and don't hesitate to use the, the comments on the on the blog to to ask any question you have okay bye